it's Linda Canasi for iCrafter and this is our assembly tutorial so it's a quick little um, description of how to make this this is the milk carton box designed by Lori Whitlock for iCrafter and it contains nine dies and you can see all the pieces there super cute little box and let me show you so here are two examples of the milk carton box and you can see how cute they are. There's also these little tags and some words. And I just have a little clothes pin to hold it closed. But you can see how cute that is. And there's the other one. And it comes with the word sweet, candy, or milk. So it's great for little gift giving. So let me show you real quickly how to make this. You want to start off with this largest piece and actually it goes this way this largest piece and you want to cut two of them so here are the two pieces and you want to start off by cutting or creasing folding along all of the crease lines so just going to go along this vertical there's the vertical lines and like that and then there are these angled crease lines right here so you want to do a valley fold on both of them so it starts forming itself now I'm going to use our eye press burnisher to make sure all of these folds are nice and crisp and our burnisher tool eye press burnisher tool uh, has a flat head burnisher like a bone folder on one side and a ball burnisher on the other and it comes with the foam pad to make it nice and uh, to make shapes like flowers uh, formed flowers so I'm just gonna go through and there's yes there are a lot of folds in here but you can see it's really important to get all of these especially these angled ones nice and folded now this one's a little harder because it is on an angle like that but it is important to get that fold so let me fold this one and this way. So I'm just again doing all of these folds and our die comes with all of the folds indicated so it's easy enough. And here I just push it in with my uh, nail just to get it started. So there you go. Now, one of the things I want to say is this top flap actually is a valley fold. You want it to fold towards you. So I was folding it away, but you want it to fold it towards you. Now we're going to oh, we're going to do these angles. Okay, now we're going to assemble them. So you're going to adhere them together. And just as another um, information is that when you see tabs or flaps that have a slight angle to them, that generally tells you that it will be a glue tab. As opposed to, you can see here, has these curves. Can you see that? It has rounded corners, so it's a finished corner. But when they're uh, slightly slanted, that is generally a clue that it will be where you apply adhesive to finish it off. So I'm going to do it top to bottom and align it and put it together like that. Okay, and just kind of give it a good push. Now from this side, you want to fold one side in. Put adhesive here. And when you do it this way, it tends to make it a lot uh, or more square. And what you can do is fold it this way to make sure everything goes nice and square. Okay. So now you want to do the bottom, and you could do it one of two ways. I tend to like to fold in two sides, 
And what I do is also check to make sure everything folds correctly. And I'm just putting some adhesive. You could use um, dry adhesive as well. Okay. Now, once you have it aligned, you want to make sure it's nice and square. And this is where, again, the eye press burnisher comes in real handy. So it gets down deep into those crevices right there and holds everything together. Um, it Because it has these corners, it, and I have some adhesive on, because it has these um, sharper corners, you can reach down and get those angles very nicely just because you won't be able to get your finger down in there but it, this tool is just amazing for the length of it to get into that corner. So we're almost done. Now, if you push that in, you will see, and I'll do it this way, you will see you have your milk carton right there. And like I said, let me grab that. <clears throat> you could do it, you could close it with a little clothespin. You could do it with a little, I think I had one here. I had a little square paper clip little decorative paper clip that you can hold it together that way if you want. So there's different ways, or you could seal it up if you do want to um, just glue it closed so it's like a surprise gift. So that is the main part of making the um, milk carton box. Um, like I said, there's also um, decorative pieces, so you could see it here, like in this tag. There is the main part of the tag, and then there's a layered piece, which is a light color. There is a, um, uh, what do they call those, the um, hole protector kind of thing, that shape. Then there is the word milk, the word sweet, and the word candy. And there are um, shadow dies to match these. I think this is for candy, and this is for trying to see. I think this is for milk. Okay, so sweet doesn't have a shadow, but these other words do. So you can see here how candy and milk have shadows. So the, these pieces, they are included in the set, but they I didn't cut them out to decorate. I just wanted to show the main decorative piece. Um, you will notice on the packaging, this colored piece in here is just one of these panels trimmed down so when you die cut it you would you would cut out an extra piece here and then trim it down if you wanted to do that or as you can see here the tag itself is a cute decoration so there's a lot of different things you can do but I just want to explain um, if you see this it oh, shadows not good reflections not good um, it's just a cut piece cut from the main part and cut down. This is the milk carton box designed by Lori Whitlock for iCrafter.